y'all. So I am here for a video on hand lettering. And this is going to be a series. So we're going to do um, different volumes. And as we go, I will have this sheet of paper that will have the hand lettering series and the volume number. It will have the font that we're going to be doing in that volume. This one is called One Starry Night. You'll have the lines that we're going to use to practice our hand lettering in. And then at the very bottom, you will see that it'll say volume two, what the font is. It's called Love Letters at defont.com. If you wanna go and practice it or get it to so that you're ready for volume two. Now, um, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm not sure how many far aparts I'm gonna have these, but I am going to link the, the link to this piece of paper, to these printouts that are on my Well With My Soul Expressions Facebook page, not my group but my page and you will be able to get it and click on it and just print it. And I printed this from there. It is a JPEG. It just prints straight onto regular paper and um, yeah, that takes care of it. So we're going to get, um, we're going to get going here. I actually think it might be this one that's printing. They're a little bit different. So let's talk about pins, okay? Um, my favorite set of pins to use when lettering, because I am not a brush letterer, so you're not gonna be seeing me use any brush letter brush pins for brush, brush lettering. But maybe I will eventually learn that, But because I, I am practicing. But I use regular Faber-Castell pit Pins. So these are their artistry pins. Um, they come in four different sizes of the nib. They come with the largest is medium. The next size down is fine. The next size down after fine is small. And the very smallest one they have is extra small, which you can all see the sizes on the tops. Now, I think it's a really good, um, it's waterproof, archival, it's great for your Bible. Um, it's really good to work with. And as you will see when we do different letterings, because the last series will be pretty much my own handwriting showing you how to do, quote, fake calligraphy. So let's dive in and get started. And then we will also do, um, when we're all done with the series, the class, then we will also um, do a page, uh, a journaling page to where we can use all of the fonts that we um, practiced in one journaling page. Okay, so let's get started. Um, to start, I think I'm gonna start with fine and then um, we can go from there. I always bring a blank sheet of paper with me to make sure that my pens are good and they're working good. And okay, so I do wanna use this size. So, the first thing we're gonna do is we're just going to, as you can see with this type of One Starry Night font, it, has some letters up here that almost look like they're lowercase, but they're uppercase. So we're basically just going to do a few of them and then possibly write a word and see how we do. Okay, so let's start with A.
So as you can see, it's pretty easy um, to just follow along and write the letters. And you can print this paper out as many times as you want and just, you know, continue to practice. Let me see if we can get the rest, how much more we can get in here. Okay, so I'm going to stop there because it's, you know, you can continue. And then the lowercase, let's do just a little bit of those. So you can practice them and go over them and stuff and, um, you know, kind of use them. But let's do a couple of words. How about that? So let's do, how about love? Now that's pretty simple, pretty standard. So let's do, uh, let's do Jesus. So we're gonna basically pull our capital J in there. And then I'm gonna do it all uppercase or I'm gonna make it a little bit smaller because when you do hand lettering, you can do letters that are bounced back and forth, one up, one down, one up, one down, one up, one down. You can also do uppercase, lowercase, uppercase, lowercase, uppercase, or you can do all uppercase but make some of the letters smaller. You can just mix and match it however you want because it's hand lettering. So there's really no rules. So. How about that? So, as you can see, pretty cool. It's kind of fun. I like these little practice sheets. I've always just done it on paper, so I've never really done it on the practice sheets. Okay, so let's do, um, Let's do another one. I'm trying to think of a really cool word. Let's do the word flowers. So I'm going to write it smaller on just this bottom one so that I can see what it would look like if I did a smaller font. So we're going to do flowers Not bad. So now let's do hearts and let's do it. 
let's bounce it. So we're just learning some cute little techniques that we would do, you know, along as we would go. And then we would be able to, you know, kind of do them each time. So let's do a little bit of like a bouncing technique with the word hearts, okay? I'm still gonna go on this lower row, so one, I'm not so close to that one. And then you can see it just done in a smaller font. So we're gonna gonna do we're gonna bounce this where it comes a little further down and it's really a good kind of this is a really good font and when I do it this way when I'm doing a bouncing I'm kind of making them a little bigger and lower so and then this one's going to be just a and then we're going to go with the t and then we're going to give it a So as you see, I did an uppercase of the first three letters and a lowercase of the next two and an uppercase of the last. So you see how you can mix it up to make it look different. Now, what if we did hearts all with lowercase? Let's do that. So now you can see a little bit of a difference. So I think that um, you guys can practice and um, be able to really um, dive into it and see how well you like it. So if I were going to do So well with my soul. So this concludes volume one. And I hope that you will go and um, download and do volume two. And I would hope that you also, if you have any questions, will leave a comment below. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And as always, guys, it's well with my soul. See you soon. Bye-bye.